everyone, it's Miss Flourishing Everyday Pack at it again with another video. And today we'll be filming the get to know me tag. So, you ready? The first question is, where did you grow up? And I grew up in a little town called Nassau, Bahamas. And um, for those of you who probably have been to the Bahamas or even never been to the Bahamas, um, your first thought is probably Atlantis. And that is, uh, you know, a mega resort where everybody comes to see what the mythical world of Atlantis would have been like. Anyway, and this is, this is my island, which is New Providence. But the town is called Nassau. Okay, or the settlement. Where do I currently live? Well, I currently I'm in Nassau, Bahamas, or New Providence, and um, I used to live in Trinidad. I kind of live in Trinidad, but that's another story for another time. <laughs> okay, um, who is your best? And I don't really have a best friend. I am, um, mm, I'm one of those people, or at least I don't have a best friend yet. I'm one of those people who definitely believe, you know, I'm not saying if you have a best friend, this is you, but I feel like it's more important for me to keep a tighter, closer circle of friends rather than just narrow it down to one friend. It's definitely easier for me to do that because I am close with a lot of people who I grew up with and went to school with. So yeah. Okay, so how tall are you? This is hilarious. <laughs> um, but y'all can definitely have to get to know my personality because I will say things with a straight face. I kind of have like a dry humor situation. But whatever. So, how tall are you? The funny thing is, I've definitely wanted to be tall all my life. I'm not short. I'm kind of average height, but I'm not the five ten that I was telling people that I was. I am five between five six and five eight, whatever that actually means. But that's how tall I am. So not a shorty, but also not tall. Um, dogs and cats. I actually want a dog. I want a dog. Um, but I still live at home. And my mother is not an animal person, but we'll see if we get, you know, kind of sway her, because that's what I've been doing all day. Trying to sway my mother. Okay. <laughs> um, the funniest moment through high school. I am a weirdo, so. What didn't openly happen happened inside my mind. And um I don't know. Okay, pause. So as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that on senior trip, um the boy spread a rumor about me that I didn't shower. Yeah, I don't know why. I can't explain why. But then like <laughs> Be, I guess because it was cold or whatever, but yeah, that was embarrassing and super funny. So I guess maybe that's one of the funniest moments of my in high school. Born in it says what year were you born in? I was born um, in 1995. Although I see some of these new listings saying that people from 1995, like back. Are uh, I think Gen Z. I, I see myself as a millennial. Like I grew up with other millennials. And um, listen, if we bought to make '90s references. Next question was: Are you in or have gone to college? And for now, my answer is: I have gone to college. I did my undergrad, and I'm currently in university again. So that far. Pray for me. Okay, so what is your favorite drink? 
y'all can take my Caribbean card if I don't say by the moment, right? Because I love them so much. But in if you okay, if I'm home, my favorite drink will probably be it's not water. Sorry, no surprise, not a help no. But um if I'm home, my favorite drink probably would be like if y'all know there's this drink called Twister. And we have that, we have a lot of that in our house. Um, yeah, we do. And I love, I think it's the fruit punch flavor and the berry something, I don't know, berry blast something. But if I go out, because they don't have Twister, I definitely like, um, y'all, definitely do imagine I go thing today. Happiness is anything, anything. Okay, so, but yeah, if I go out, my favorite drink is definitely a strawberry lemonade. It just tastes so good. It tastes like candy. Why would you like it? What is my spirit animal? Y'all. I'm the laziest person I know, and I like to sleep. So probably, I eat, of course, but my spirit animal would probably be, um, it would probably be a sloth or a koala. Because they're cute, well, koalas are cute. Sorry to the sloths. So, um, yeah, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? It is um, a, a Victoria's Secret pink, pink, um, I think it's called Toasted Vanilla. I don't know. I will look for it and I will put the picture up right here. So, yeah, that's what I'm wearing because I like, okay, well, I like clean scents. But I like lightly sweet scents because I don't know if this is only me, but comment down below if super, super sweet, super, super sweet perfume scents or body spray scents just kind of make you nauseous. And that's what happens to me. Not pregnant. Okay. Tea or coffee? I like both, but coffee definitely takes me through some rough times I'm just saying especially with being a college student okay, coffee coffee I like it and I like all different coffee flavors but I also like it. okay well coffee okay um what sports do you play or have played I usually tell people that I played soccer before <laughs> no one believes me I understand why I understand why y'all don't believe me but I was the cute, I don't even know what you call it. I don't know if you call it little league or what, but I was the cutest little leaguer, college player, kid. I, I mean, looking back, it's kind of fun, especially like when I used to come home after practice and watch like Teen Titan and pretty much pass out. But yeah, I used to play soccer. I don't know, I just came out of nowhere and I was like, mommy, I think she asked me what extracurricular activity would I like to get into. So. It probably was between tennis, gymnastics, and soccer. Because I had a friend, and Caribbeans, my fellow Caribbeans, forgive me for calling it soccer. I do know that it's football. But in the Bahamas, we say, we say whatever kind of thing. Um, mm, yeah, but it was between those three and um, I had went to my best friend at the time, like her gymnastics recital, and I knew that I could not do a roly poly, the splits, or bridge. So, next, have have any books you read changed your life? Okay. Hmm. Well, um, I think all the books I read changed my life because they gave me a perspective on different things. Um, but I've been trying to get into the self-help genre for sure, for sure. I haven't really finished any. <laughs> I haven't finished any of the self-help books that I've started, but 
enough to get a perspective about what they're getting at. So for me, when I um, look for self-help books, I look for books that would help me in my, I guess, personal development in terms of understanding my biology and emotions as well as that of the opposite sex. So emotional intelligence and productivity sort of thing. That's what I look for in self-help books. So the first one would have probably been David and Goliath by, I can't remember, let me Google. Okay, yes, it's a David and Goliath book by um, a writer. I think he's actually quite popular, but I just found out about him. Um, David and Goliath book by Malcolm Gladwell. And you know, it really talks about how underdogs are perceived and how, you know, listen, don't drag me if you've read the book in its entirety and completely understand it. I probably got, I probably was on the first chapter, first, second chapter or something, but it talks about, you know, how underdogs are perceived in their specific, um, in their specific area of life and, um, it basically explains why the um, underdogs usually are triumphant. And for me, I think a lot of people feel like underdogs because of like imposter syndrome. But for me, it just opened my eyes to like how I could do my own thing and perfect it while at the same time trying to develop and improve, but still kind of make my own, make my own method. So for whatever I do, and not try to be like the other or the first type. Hopefully y'all get what I'm trying to say. And then what I'm reading right now is, listen, I'm not gonna look for the artist. I mean, the, the author this time, but I don't think there's another book by the name or books by the name, but the books are called Female Brain and Male Brain. Currently reading the Male Brain. I didn't really know which one she was first, but I am interested in seeing how the opposite sex works. And so far, I'm about like on maybe chapter. Why don't I just start it? I'm probably on chapter one, and what I read earlier was like the prelude type thing. But it's basically talking about you know how usually males are seen as you know like emotionless and just really chill and really relaxed but it gives you some type of introspection on how the male brain works how hormones influence their actions and how they really just problem solving beasts and they just need an environment to grow and hone that 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 innate ability that they do have but if y'all want we can have like you know sessions where I talk to y'all about the books that I've read and y'all could just comment and you know we could just go in and do little book reviews if I finish it because if I don't finish it then that's not good so the next question is what is your favorite movie and <laughs> did I Okay, well, you can judge me if you want, but I feel like it's a good movie, and it really, it really spoke to me at a young age. But a movie, well, when I think favorite movie, I think movie that I can watch over and over and over, and I can still be surprised at the outcome, like I've never seen it before, and just, I just love it every time I watch it, but my favorite movie is Legally Blonde. And then after that, maybe like cruel intentions. So cruel intentions is kind of weird. So everybody may not like that. Um, but for me, Legally Blonde was a good movie because then again, Elwood was, I guess, an underdog, which is how I see myself. I see myself sometimes like people don't see my true ability. But with me, I feel like I don't see my true ability either sometimes. And I kind of, I kind of shy away from doing the work because I feel like it doesn't make any sense because I'll still get the same results, whatever. But it's different with Elle because she really believed in herself and she said what she was gonna do, although 
she was trying to get the mind. But, I mean, I spoke to me too, but <clears throat> not anymore. But at the end of the day, she, she kind of corrected that. And she started to do it for her and to not only prove a point to Warner or the other people who didn't believe, her, believe in her, but she proved a point to herself and saying that, look, I could do this. I'm about to be a lawyer. Screw you I'm about to make this money. Okay? So I, I really like Legally Blonde. Um, who are my favorite YouTubers? This is, okay. My favorite YouTuber YouTubers are um um I really I've always liked Travi Bass slash Travi Williams. Shout out to Travi, you probably will never see this, but um I liked you because you were just always enthusiastic, extremely honest, crazy, and I like that. I've been watching you from 2011, 2012, I still watch you now whenever you upload and I've been keeping up with the channels. Um, you, I mean, when I first started watching you, not to say that it's not the same now, when I first started watching you, you had an incredible work ethic, you knew what you wanted and you did it, you achieved it, you made a name for yourself and um, yeah, you were just always very honest with your viewers and you gave your 100. And I saw that in your editing. I really love your editing, Javi. Okay. Guys, to watch. I like Brie Hall. Her editing is bomb. Um, and she's just like, she seems like really nice and chill. I watch, because then there's so many people. That's crazy. We're gonna have to do a whole video on this, whatever. Do you speak any languages and how well? Struggling. That's the level. Um, I speak a small, small amount of Spanish. Just super, super, superficial conversation. Some um, cell facts. Um, I've been using Duolingo, trying to learn some Italian because my friend's Italian. I'm so trash at it, and I've been trying to learn French. Still trash at it. So I wouldn't even say beginner level for those. Um, but um, in the Bahamas, we have kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's a full language because there are still big components of English. For the most part, it is English, but it has additives and and, and it's kind of altered. So that's what our dialect is. And you also have some things that are not in the English language that is in our dialect. So it's kind of our language dialect in in the mom lives. Um, if y'all want me to do a Bohemian tag, I can do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, are you single or taking? I'm single, so that mean I do what I want. I'm single, I'm single, yeah, I'm single, I'm single, I'm single, I'm single. Next question, please. What is your idea of a dream date? Um, the corny stuff. I like long walks, but I don't like to walk. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no. I like the beach at night. And to be honest, I wouldn't say that I'm a homebody, but I would like an ad home sort of situation, you know, some Chinese takeout, some little egg rolls, <laughs> grab your fashion sense. Um kinda like sleepy girl meets bougie meets. I hang out in Starbucks. Um, meets. Sometimes I be tired. So I definitely like sweatpants with cool tees. Um, I like Converse. But I mean, it, depends. it definitely depends on where I'm going. If I'm going to school, I'm more, um, I'm more relaxed. And yeah. And if I'm going out, I like to dress for the occasion. So definitely. But y'all, y'all feeling my little Jimmy icon? Okay, sorry. Um, my go-to hairstyle, a puff. 
is a definitely a high pump with my edges slipped on. Um, how many siblings do you have? I have eight siblings. And what is your go to fast for food order? I like um, a number six with cheese and onion with a berry iced tea from Wendy's. Do you use a PC or a Mac? I use a Mac. What's your most memorable vacation? Probably senior trip when we went to Orlando and we went to like Universal Studios and Bush Gardens and yada yada yada. I feel like I have a story time for that, but whatever. What are your morning, evening, and okay, I'm gonna skip that. Do you have any bad habits? Yes. I don't handle my problems <laughs> at all. And if I get super stressed out, I go to sleep. So guys, we've reached the end of the get to know me tag. And I hope that I made sense to y'all. I hope that y'all get to know me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And come back again. Bye.